orders uh, to prepare to move and make their move. back in the United States, and we're part of the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division. For this mission here for Atlantic Resolve, our task force has a very unique task organization. In addition to our two tank companies, we also have a light cavalry troop that is stationed up in Estonia, and here in Lithuania, we have Eagle Troop, a infantry uh, company uh, with a tank platoon attached to it serving here in Lithuania. Very quickly I'd like to describe to you all the tactical scenario that we are going to execute that you guys will observe. As I see it, this firing demonstration has been an outstanding training opportunity for our tank platoon. And for this tactical scenario, our tank platoon is attached to the Algodis Battalion, part of the Iron Wolf Brigade. And as part of that attachment, the tank platoon has been given a mission uh, to protect the eastern flank of the Algodis Battalion, to destroy troop targets and to suppress. Task Force 27 Infantry is conducting Atlantic Resolve in the countries of Poland, Latvia, Estonia, and here in Lithuania. And uh, this is this has been a great exercise, a great opportunity. It's we're calling it a M1 platoon firing demonstration, where the four tanks that you can see behind me um, have the opportunity, have had the opportunity to do a full up live fire exercise. Uh, there's no doubt that this tank platoon uh, is ready. Uh, we were fortunate in that uh, over the past year and a half, we've done a lot of training as a battalion. This tank platoon included. We're positioned in the countries of Poland. Uh, Lithuania here, Latvia and Estonia, and it's just a unique opportunity for our soldiers to experience the people and the cultures of these countries. Uh, this event demonstrates capability of the Abrams tank. It helps the Lithuanians understand uh, what we bring to the battlefield, and now they have a better ability to, uh, to think through how we incorporate uh, tanks on the battlefield when we have the opportunities to work together. Uh, in our training, we'll, we'll continue exploring uh, ways that we, we best complement the capabilities of each other. Uh, the Lithuanians have a uh, tremendous uh, army of their own, and what we want to do is make sure that we are complementing what they bring to the table uh, as much as possible. I think absolutely they can feel safe, and I think they can feel safe because uh, us being here demonstrates the commitment on the part of the American people uh, to support our allies and partners in Europe. It's very important for us to have a strong Europe, and, and, and that's why we're here. Uh, we'll be here during these exercises. Uh, in addition to uh, our presence uh, here today, we also get an opportunity to continue working with our partners and increase our interoperability, uh, which gives us an advantage when, it, when we do have a requirement to operate uh, in this area or other areas in the world together. Uh, also, uh, significantly, is that from a strategic standpoint, 
the movement of people and equipment across Europe is a significant event. And what we're doing now is demonstrating the ability that uh, any time that we want to, we can have people and equipment any place that we want on the continent of Europe. We've got uh, pieces of equipment all over Europe. Uh, we continue uh, to develop uh, the capability here in Europe, and it's just a matter of how long it takes for, uh, for rail cars to move from one spot to the other. We also have significant air capability. Uh, we do air move our tanks and Bradleys. So it is, uh, it is something that we've done in the past and we definitely maintain the ability to quickly uh, put armored forces on the ground uh, using our, our Air Force. Uh, I'm Sergeant Brandon Michael Griffin. I'm the tank commander uh, slash gunner for the battalion commander. Uh, we're coming out here today. I'm currently a stack display. We're coming out here to uh, watch uh, my white platoon. They're going out here to put a display on for the Lithuanians, show them uh, what kind of firepower we got. Uh, we got our 50 caliber machine gun, remotely operated, uh, a coaxial. A mounted uh, 7.62 that's attached to the main gun that the gunner controls along with the 120 millimeter main gun uh, and then we also have a loaders 240. All, the whole platoon, I mean I'm, I'm with them, attached to them, the whole platoon is very excited. They all got their own cameras out. They're ready to ready to put on a show for Lithuania. They're really excited. It's very, the crew is very close. Uh, yeah, when you spend a lot of time you start to get them know, know them very well. Uh, in terms of our job being a Fury, all the maintenance you saw them doing, we do maintenance 24-7. We're, we got here, we spent two weeks prepping these tanks for this one day of shooting, and, uh, and it all pays off once you pull that trigger and squeeze the main gun off. We just get down here, prep the tank because they can come off the rails. We gotta undo a bunch of stuff, get, make sure the track is ready because the terrain out here is pretty rigorous. Uh, and just, uh, we uh, prep the main gun, make sure it shoots and zeroed in and whatnot. So I've been in Fort Hood, uh, it's very hard. The, there's not really, you don't have a chance to break track. So like over here, the ground is very soft. There's a bunch of tree stumps out here from when the Lithuanians cut down the trees. Uh, so if you turn too aggressively, you might throw a track. We had a couple guys come around trying to look at the tanks, uh, but we're over in Rukla, where we're, uh, where our main barracks is, I guess. Uh, we've had schools come over, uh, soldiers all day coming over, want to check out the tanks. So we hop in, show them everything, and uh, it's been really interesting. Kids are very, very excited. Some kids are almost scared when you like show them the inside of the tank. Um, but everyone really enjoys it. Back home, when we're shooting our gunnery, we're qualifying the tanks. I'll be rubbing the main gun like it's my baby. I try, I treat it very well, and hopefully they take care of us. Captain Brian Adams, troop commander. How do you spell your first name? B-R-Y-A-N. Today what we have going on is that we're showcasing the firepower that the Abrams tank provides uh, to our Lithuanian allies. Today marks the first time a U.S. tank has fired a main gun round inside of Lithuania. The tank crews that are here today, they came from Fort Stewart, Georgia. This is our first time training in Lithuania. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give them the orders to occupy the battle position. And then as they're moving up, I'll give them the orders to engage and destroy the enemy. Today, who we're going to have here is the Lithuanian Ministry of Defense, their chief of defense, and the land forces commander. One, our, our overall purpose here is to reassure them and also increase our interoperability. So we want to showcase the combat power that the United States Army can provide to our Lithuanian allies. And that's what we hope they observe when the uh, firing demonstration is complete.